You might have seen this project quite a lot. Tal produces one of the most amazing PCB coils on YouTube. But unfortunately for us, there is no default way to draw coils within KiCad. So in this video, we'll see how we can achieve this by using FreeCAD and an underrated KiCad plugin. Along with that, we'll also understand why it's necessary to design a coil within PCB other than just making a fancy PCB motor. Coils are essential components in electronic circuits as they generate magnetic field when current passes through them. This property allows them to be used in a variety of applications such as signal filtering, energy storage, impedance matching and information transfer. But unlike traditional coils, PCB coils offer many advantages. First, it provides a good space efficiency. PCB coils can be designed to occupy minimal space on the circuit board. For example, you can use the horizontal space on the PCB rather than giving up the vertical space which can be quite crucial in some application. Then we have customization. Instead of building your circuit around standard inductors, PCB coils offer the flexibility to easily adjust the number of turns, wire diameter and other parameters to get the desired inductance value. Then we have the cost. PCB coils are cheaper since they are directly designed on the PCB, so there is no need for additional components and the assembly process. Integration. Having coils directly into the PCB design allows for better integration with other components. This integration also minimizes the chances of EMI and improves overall performance of the circuit. Finally, design flexibility. PCB coil offers great design flexibility as it can be used in various orientation and positions on the PCB. This flexibility allows to optimize the coil performance and the placement within the circuit. Anyway, enough of the theory. To make the video a lot simpler, we have introduced a few calculators on PCB Cupid related to coils and inductors, so make sure to check them out. Now to start, let's see how we can implement the techniques that we discussed at the beginning of the video. First, by using a mechanical CAD software. Previously, I used to be a fan of Fusion 360, but currently they don't seem to offer much for makers and hobbyists in their free version. So for the sake of accessibility, we'll stick with FreeCAD, which is completely open source. Go to the official version of FreeCAD page and download the latest version of FreeCAD. Compared to Fusion 360, FreeCAD has a very steep learning curve. So I'll just give the direct instructions on how to do the spiral. And if you would like to learn more about FreeCAD, I'll drop a link in the description that should help you get started with your FreeCAD journey. Anyway, once the application is downloaded and installed, open FreeCAD. Start with creating a new document. I know it does not have the most appealing UI, but it does have a ton of features to explore. But for our need, in this drop down, make sure to select the part workbench. To create the coil, go to the menu bar and select this icon, which says create a primitive shape. Now this tool will open the settings pane with a lot of primitive presets. Since we need only the spiral, we'll go through these options and select the spiral. Here you can adjust the spiral with this parameter. The radius determines the internal radius of the coil, the rotation determines the number of rotations and finally the growth determines the spacing between the turns. Once you're happy with the spiral specification, click on create. You can see we have the spiral shape on the screen. But if you like to edit this shape, you can't do that in these settings. Instead, click on close and select the spiral part. Under the menu pane, we can adjust any properties of the spiral with a click. Once you're happy with the spiral, it's time to export. Go to the file and click on export. Here give it a nice name and select the export option for Autodesk DFX 2D. With that, you have successfully created a simple coil in FreeCAD and exported it. Since we have exported this as a DFX file, we can not only use this within KiCad, but also this is compatible with OrCAD and Altium. Now to import this DXF file into KiCad, open the PCB editor, go to File, Import and Graphics. On the pop-up, select the DXF file. Then on the layer option, select where you want the DXF file to be. In this case, we want it to be on the copper layer. And finally, select the thickness of the spiral that you need. Currently, it is set to 0.2mm, but I'll change that to 1mm and click on OK. With that, we have a perfectly customized coil on KiCad. You can also use the same technique not just to create coil, but you can also create some amazing custom PCBs with the custom DFX files. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments if you would be interested in a video like that. Even though the process seems simple or easier compared to techniques like using Inkscape or Python scripts, the process is little lengthy and requires some pre-planning before making the DXF file. That's the reason we'll look into the next method where we'll use a plugin to create a coil within KiCad. According to me, this is the most underrated plugin and I don't see any videos or people talking about it. So make sure to give this repo a star when you download the plugin. Unfortunately, at least for now, the plugin cannot be downloaded in the KiCad's package manager. So we have to do it manually. 
First make sure keycard application is closed and go to this path in your system. Here clone the repository. If you are not sure how to do that, we have a dedicated video on the channel, so make sure to check it out. Anyway, once that's done, open the PCB editor and you should have the new plugin option on the menu bar. It's pretty easy to use the plugin. Just click on the plugin and give it a group name, lay where you want the coil to be, then set the internal radius, number of turns, track width and direction of the coil. For the remaining options like segments per turn and additional option, I leave them at default. Currently, this plugin has a small bug related to window scaling. So to apply these settings, you might have to slightly expand the window and then click on OK. I'll also quickly do a counterclockwise coil just to show the difference. You can see how simple this plugin is compared to other techniques. But it does have the same problem as other techniques. It's very hard to modify the existing coil. If you need any changes, you have to delete the existing coil and recreate a new one. Anyway, before ending the video, I have to apologize for something. According to the poll, we were supposed to go with the new PCB project, but this video was easy, short and simple to make. So in the next video, we'll be focusing on this particular topic. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video so far, make sure to hit the like button. And finally, if you have any questions, don't forget to visit PCBQPED Q&A. Until the next video, keep learning and keep creating.